Hey guys, you are watching Meta Cinema, where we react to and discuss all things film. My name is Gage. I'm Nick. And we are going to be watching Attack on Titan Season 1, Episode 15. Um, it's been a while since we watched the last episode. I'm having a, a bit of a hard time remembering everything that happened. We'll have the recap too, I think. Yeah, of course, the, the obligatory uh, like 50 minute recap. Yeah, happy episode recap. Episode. Right? <laughs> All right, so if you guys uh, can leave a thumbs up before we start, that would be great. But let's go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I forgot. That's Among Us. <laughs> Dude, it does sound like that. Don't be expecting the royal treatment. Whether you're Titan or human, don't imagine for a second we all share the good captains and these. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought he bit Aaron on the shoulder. No, no, he bit That's his That's what tongue. you get for flapping your jowls on horseback. If you intend to hound me like a wife, Petra dear, there's rather more of me you need to be acquainted with before laying claim to the privilege. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. I tell you to bite your tongue, but you've got that covered. <laughs> Next time, every one of these scouts was handpicked by Captain Levi for accomplishments in the field. That end, they're my executioners, the ones who will end me if I lose it. Best grab a broom and get to work. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that was him at first. <laughs> Our custody of Aaron is conditional on the results of this mission. Right now, the first order of business is persuading the brass we have him under control. That he's an asset, not a threat. Most of us still find it hard to believe. So how does it work, this whole changing into a titan trick? Really? Wish I could tell you, but the fact is my memory's not clear. <clears throat> Guess it's kind of like being in a trance. I'd very much like your help. My help? Like, what would I have to do? Join me, of course! On a quest of scientific discovery! <laughs> Well, uh, I'm afraid it's not up to me. Levi, what's on the docket for him tomorrow? Clearing out all the weeds? Excellent, then. <laughs> it's cinched. Just so I'm clear, what exactly will I be doing? Hanji's <laughs> 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 great. Hello, beautiful. Oh, I forgot they trapped him. Mm -hmm. It was like First a trap was the trap too. Yeah. communication. How are we feeling? Do you have a name? Are you in pain? Her naming scheme is so weird. Yeah. What did she end up going with last time? It was Chikatilo and Albert. In the end, these cannibals <laughs> subsisted on human meat for 25 years, give or take. <laughs> All these garrison folks are like, man, what the fuck is wrong with the scouts? <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Sonny. Likewise, Bean. Let's be chums, huh? Observing as we do that Titans are less active in the nocturnal hours, we may extrapolate from this experiment that the sun is likely a key source of energy for them. Huh. They don't require food or water to survive. They possess vocal organs but have absolutely no need to breathe. The only what? thing their bodies metabolize into energy is sunlight. Two in particular perished of decapitation when we accidentally struck the soft spot. Oh. Poor devils. Accidentally decapitated two of them. Poor Hanji. Carry it on! <laughs> Physical contact with them was the next obvious step because I simply had to know whether or not they experienced pain as <laughs> Oh my god! Boy, it isn't necessary for you to scream sex. I can't hear this and not scream, damn you! I'm so sorry! We're gonna go <laughs> stab him again. <laughs> Talk to me! Oh, Jesus Christ. For the love of God, stand clear! <laughs> <laughs> Your head chomped off. <laughs> My God, I thought he got it for a sec. But one day, I came to a realization. I'd kicked the severed head of a three-meter titan out of spite. It weighed next to nothing. Might as well have been a feather. If you don't mind, I think I should hear about these experiments in greater detail. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. I want to know everything. I ought to start from our first captured Titan. That was the birth of my first hypothesis, you see. Carried to its natural Oh my end, god. The experiment yielded nothing of positive value. 
<laughs> Nothing of positive value. <laughs> Section Commander Hanji, come quickly. The test subjects. They're dead. What? Both of them killed. Sonny and Bean. We literally just sat there for an entire night and let her regurgitate the information that he already knew. <laughs> They were such valuable it's specimens. Like nobody notices. Is this soldiers' work? Yeah, but they haven't pegged the one there responsible. There should be human skeletons like just against the spine, dawn, right? Apparently. By the time the guards got here, the bastard cleared out on ODM gear. What is it you think you see? Who do you think the real enemy is here? He knows who it is. Ignore me. Loaded question. <laughs> I love. Before I forget, I. I Love the part where Hanji's like, so back in the day I used to fight Titans out of pure anger and, and Aaron's like, understandable. <laughs> He's like, no, yeah, of course. <laughs> Why else would you fight Titans? <laughs> so Titans require sunlight, or at least Bean did, right? Son Sonny was the one that was like still kicking. I can't remember. For the night. Or yeah. Whichever, yeah. One but of them was, was kind of falling off and one was it. I wonder how many Titan she's kept as pets. Well, I mean, she says that she's she's killed a couple just out of her negligence. I think they disclosed early on in the show that they don't require humans to sustain themselves. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. Do it just kind of. Because after they after the um, one of the battles, they were retrieving bodies and they found like a almost like a Titan pellet. Yeah, yeah. And, and, when she was talking about how the Titan bodies just like form from thin air. Mm -hmm. There's, I cannot fathom any technology here that could actually do that. Like, it doesn't seem biological, really, because it's like, it is just kind of like swirling around his arm and like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It just seems kind of like magic. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's straight up magic. Like, <laughs> you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Dude, speaking of, that, the guy with the curly hair that bit his mouth. Yeah, bit his tongue. He looks so much like uh, Professor Lockhart. Dude, he does. <laughs> You're a wizard, Aaron. Do you have anything else for this episode? Erwin inciting at the at the end, him just pulling some more strings. That gives me like I don't know, like he's Sherlock Holmes trying to train a new heir to the yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little a little bit. Yeah, it kind of seems like that. So if you guys uh, have anything that we might have missed, just leave them in the comments below. And if you can leave a thumbs up, that would be super helpful. Uh, but we will see you guys on the next one. See ya.